So we, we've kind of taken a look at uh, just breaking down the yearly salary. Now let's actually get onto the topic of what we were supposed to discuss, which was discounts and taxes. So remember a discount is a percentage from 100. So um, if you were to go to the store and the calendar it costs $7.50, like that is its original price. That is 100% of the price, $7.50. Now if I'm telling you, hey, you can chop off 20% of its full price. Well, just imagine, really I'm telling you, okay, Normally, I have to pay 100% of the price. Now, if I chop off 20% of the price, now I only have to pay 80% of the original price. So how do I do this? I do 750 times 80% as a decimal, which is just 0.80. And I go ahead and do the math, and I figure out that I pay $6 for that calendar. So again, what I did is I said, OK, my discount was 20. So I subtracted that from 100, being 100% of the price. I found out, hey. I only have to pay 80% of $7.50, and that percent of means multiplication, so $7.50 times 0.80 gave me $6. You're going to be responsible for doing number two. All right, now we can move on uh, to taxes. So the United States uh, has what's called a marginal tax rate, where workers pay 10% of their first $8,925 of income in income tax, and then they pay 15% on every dollar in between $8,926 and $36,250, and et cetera. So based on the table below, how much would somebody who earns $20,000 a year pay in income tax? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I know I have to pay 10% of, so 10% times my first $8,000. $925, right? And then I also have to pay 15% of however much money is in between my $20,000 salary and that $8,000, sorry, $925 uh, cap for 10%. So basically what I'll be doing is setting up just these two parentheses um, and adding them together. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. So uh, when I do that, I'll be paying um, oh, 2,533.75. So um, my take home pay um, after taxes is going to be my original salary, $20,000, minus my taxes, 2,533.75. And, and that means after taxes, I take home 17400 66 bucks, not too bad. Um, we could do the same thing for a teacher's salary. Um, and we'll try and do that right here. So it's going to be 10% times $8,925 plus 15% times, you know, up to 36,250 minus 8,925 plus. 25% of all the money that's greater than um, 36,000, which is that 45,000 minus 360, there's 36,250, excuse me. So with all that added up, I will be paying $7,178.75 in taxes. Um, so uh, my take home pay will obviously be less um, than the 45000 But this check is just for income taxes, so I'm writing to the government $7,178.75. Now, I could do all the math for LeBron, but it's going to take a super, super long time. We don't have it for today. Now, LeBron is going to end up on his $23 million salary paying $9,065,763.75. So a lot more than a teacher. All right. So let's do some basic math with uh, taxes here. So um, if the original price of a comic book is $1.95, a tax would mean I would be paying more than 100% of that price, right? So 100% plus 3 gives me I will be paying 103% of the comic book price. So it's $1.95 times 103 as a decimal, so times 1.03. Because to do a percent to a decimal, you just start at the angle once, twice. Okay. Um, so when I do that multiplication, uh, I get up 2.0085. So that rounds to about 201, right? Um, if I've done it correctly. 
195 times 1.03. Yeah, uh, so about so it goes from $1.95 to $2.01. So it's about six cents in tax. Okay. Uh, number ten, you'll be doing on your own. That's the end of part two.